What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm your host, Warren Thompson. And lately, there has been a ton of rumors and reports going around about the Fantastic Four, about Doctor Doom, and about the X-Men. But today, we might have the craziest report yet, as we actually could have a release date for the first debut of the first member of the Fantastic Four, if this report ends up being true. We also have some Fantastic Four casting news, as well as some general MCU casting news as well. Two recent reports state that two major actors could be joining the MCU. One as the Thing for the Fantastic Four, and the other could be a part of the Fantastic Four, but the role has not been specified yet, so they could be playing any role in the MCU. And of course, this all comes around the same time that we got the Doom news from the Howard Stern Show. And if you missed that news, don't worry, I will briefly explain it in this video and talk about everything you need to know about all of these new casting reports. So let's not waste any time, let's dive into it. But of course, if you're new to the channel and you love Marvel and superheroes, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest news. Now let's talk about the first MCU casting rumor that is just general for right now, and it is Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling, who is about to play Ken in the upcoming Barbie movie, is reportedly joining the cast of an upcoming Marvel project that is set to film next year. Now this is coming from the verified Twitter account called Des Moines, an account that says that they are curators of pop culture. And this is interesting news, but what makes this even more interesting is that the website Giant Freaking Robot has actually reported reported this before and they stated that Ryan Gosling is playing Nova. Now we know recently that a Nova project has been announced. We didn't really get any details about this, but according to Giant Freaking Robot, they have cast their Nova and that is Ryan Gosling. And I'm curious to hear what you all think about this casting. Let me know in the comments down below. I personally really like Ryan Gosling, but I'm trying to wrap my head around him playing Nova. As far as the look goes, I definitely think he has the look. I definitely think he has the body type for it. And if this report is true, this means that they are going for an older Nova. Specifically, Richard Ryder is the one that is said to be coming to the MCU. And I've seen a lot of comments online and some people really would love Ryan Gosling to play Richard Ryder and it seems like some people really would not like him to play that role. So let me know what you think in the comments. And as for this next casting, it is for the Fantastic Four and the actor that is going to be playing the thing is reportedly Jason Segel. Now, this is a very, very interesting choice. One, I just want to state that I do actually like Jason as an actor. How I Met Your Mother is one of my favorite TV shows, and Forgetting Sarah Marshall is one of my favorite movies. And he's fantastic in both. He's a great actor. However, I would have never thought that he would be cast as The Thing. Now, keep in mind, this is not confirmed. It's just a report that was posted to 4chan. However, there are some things in this report that do make it seem kind of legitimate, and I'll explain why. Here's all the details that were posted. It says, title says it, Seagal is the thing, plays a major role in the last three episodes of She-Hulk. He was originally meant to debut in No Way Home before landing in She-Hulk. Jennifer has a mystery client who only communicates with her via a different lawyer, and there are a lot of jokes about this, who has a lawyer just to talk to lawyers. It continues to say, the character is being done in a mocap suit by Jason Segal, similar to how they did Thanos, and the thing is fighting a defamation case. It says he shows up in episode 8, has fight scenes in 9 and 10, and mainly fights the Wrecking Crew. It says there's a moment where She-Hulk, The Thing, and Daredevil share the screen. There's a moment with Daredevil about being from New York and their respective areas. It's sort of a more jabby version of Cap and Spider-Man in Civil War. Now, if this is true, this is pretty freaking crazy. She-Hulk is going to be pretty fantastic if this report is true. We're going to get She-Hulk, The Thing, and Daredevil. Now, Daredevil and She-Hulk is pretty much confirmed, plus he's getting his own show, and is supposed to pop up in a few other shows beforehand, She-Hulk being one of them, the Echo series being another. But The Thing showing up in She-Hulk is sort of a surprise, especially if he's going to be played by Jason Segal. But before we dive further into this, here's something that is pretty interesting about this report. I've seen some people say that this report is disproven because there's only nine episodes of She-Hulk. However, there was originally
originally supposed to be 10 episodes of She-Hulk. One episode got cut. So if this is true, I'm thinking that it was reported before they cut the 10th episode, and that's the report that we're seeing, and that's why it has 10 episodes and not just 9. Now, who knows what they cut from it, but since this says that The Thing was supposed to be in 3 episodes, I'm assuming that The Thing, if this report is true, is still going to be in the show. And this will be our first introduction to the Fantastic Four in the MCU. Now here's kind of the cool thing. One is, yes, the Fantastic Four are coming to the MCU. We know that the movie is in development. We know they're looking for a new director right now after John Watts backed out. But the really cool thing is, is we can actually pinpoint when episode eight, which is supposed to be the debut of the thing in She-Hulk, is going to be. You see, She-Hulk debuts on August 17th. That is going to be the first episode. So all we have to do is jump forward seven more episodes to find out the eighth episode's date. So let's simply jump forward. The 17th is the first episode, the 24th would be the second, the 31st would be the third, September 7th would be the fourth, September 14th would be the fifth, September 21st the sixth, September 28th the seventh, and October 5th would be the eighth episode. So if this report ends up being true, you can expect to see The Thing on October 5th in the She-Hulk series on Disney+. Plus. However, this report does say he's supposed to be in three episodes, and it says that one one of the episodes was the 10th episode. However, there's only nine episodes now. And if the thing is still in three episodes, that means he should debut on the seventh episode, which means the first Fantastic Four debut in the MCU would be on September 28th. Now, keep in mind right now, this report is just kind of a rumor right now. It's not confirmed. But here's the really cool news. We have some really big things coming up really soon. Marvel Studios is attending San Diego Comic-Con, and this is typically where they announce all of their really big projects. In the past, over the last handful of years, Marvel Studios released Phase 4 here, and they dropped all of their big name projects at Hall H at San Diego Comic Con. So, they're attending this year, so we should expect some pretty big news. Also, D23 is coming up, and apparently Marvel Studios has some pretty big announcements for us there as well. Not to mention Disney Plus Day, we'll talk about all of the upcoming Marvel Disney Plus projects. And on top of that, Kevin Feige recently came out in an interview and stated that we're kind of going to get hints at what the future holds very very, very soon, and we're going to start to see how things kind of are going to come together. So hopefully we hear some news about the Fantastic Four. After all, at San Diego Comic-Con in 2019, the last time that Marvel Studios was there in person, Kevin Feige did tease the Fantastic Four, so it's been years now, so hopefully we're going to hear some type of news. Also, not to mention Howard Stern did talk about a Doom project recently. He did not specifically say that he is playing Doctor Doom, he simply said he is doing Doctor Doom. This could refer to to a movie, this could refer to a TV show, but a lot of signs have told us that the Fantastic Four are in development right now, and maybe the cast has already all been chosen, and if so, all of that combined with some rumors from insiders stating that Doctor Doom is coming soon, I'm assuming that Doctor Doom is getting his own project, and of course this is going to come hand in hand with the Fantastic Four. So big, big things happening in the MCU right now, if you're not excited about Phase 4 and Phase 5 yet, you should get excited because it sounds like things are about to get pretty dang crazy. So if you love Marvel and want to stay up to date on all the news happening, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any of the latest news. Don't forget to like the video and for live updates, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.